Jobs, first things first, 7.30 in the morning, I'm gonna run you boys through my morning routine. First thing I do, wake up, throw on my robe, come outside, get a big glass of water, put a pinch of Celtic sea salt in here, and just a shot of apple cider vinegar. Right here, chug this bad boy. Helps stable out my blood sugar. They say you get super dehydrated at night. That extra uh, Celtic salt gives you all those electrolytes. Start your day off, get some good hydration. Right after my apple cider vinegar and uh, sea salt water, I'll go take my morning stool, Jobins. Write my journal for about five minutes and read my daily Stoics book. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, these fucking morning journals, they may sound a little gay, but I swear they help a lot. Wake up first thing before social media or anything and write down. Maybe try to remember some of your dreams and write them down. Or try to kind of write how your day was yesterday. And then at the bottom, write your goals for the day. So if you accomplish those goals for the day, that'll be a good fucking day. And then write four or five things you're thankful for. It could be anything. Thankful for my fucking hands. I'm thankful for my eyes. I'm thankful for able to hear. Thankful for my dogs. But literally, it's not long. It's just... A little paragraph, the small goals, what you're thankful for, nothing crazy. It can just be a normal notebook, just like this too. Write the date, how the day was, the shit that's on your mind. I've found a lot of benefits from doing this. But next up, the hard part. This is the part that every single morning my, my deep subconscious mind's like, don't do it, don't do it. No, time to take a dip in the cold plunge. I stole this from Tony Robbins. He calls it his morning priming. Jump in this cold plunge and it wakes you the fuck up. That's up next, boys. Boys, time to do it. See how cold the water is. 34 degrees. I'm not gonna soak in it for this time. I'm just gonna jump the fuck in, head under and everything to wake me up and get me moving. Jay, your turn. After that fucking cold plunge to wake us up, we're gonna bust out the waking up app. Sam Harris, the neuroscientist, he has his own meditation app. He walks you through a 50 day course first, and then he has a daily meditation that renews every day. Right now, I've only been doing the 10 minute one, so that's up next. You just, you just close your eyes. Happy to notice them. This is a little contraption I found from my buddy Scott Holtzman. I was getting real into coffee for a while and I just wanted ways to find the best coffee. So they made this thing called the AeroPress. It's this little heavy duty plastic syringe that makes supposedly the best quality coffee and I think it is. They have world championships, they have a bunch of shit for the AeroPress. So first thing I do, I need fresh beans. I'll take two full scoops of beans right here. 
in this little $10 grinder from Walmart. And I'll hold it for six seconds. Good. Now that I got the beans pretty coarse, I just put them in the bottom of this AeroPress. Two big scoops. You could do three scoops if you wanted three shots, but I'm just gonna go two today. And next, I have my water in this teapot that's 80 degrees Celsius, a little bit over right now, but I just looked online what they make it at and they said the world championships, the best ones were made at 80 Celsius, which is 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So here we go. Now I do a nice slow pour over these beans. Slowly soak these beans. Always use freshly ground beans too because they say they lose 60% of the aroma right after they're ground. So now I'll mix this up, make sure they get all wet, really nice. About 10 seconds. And then I'll fill this the rest up. And if you were worried about time consuming then just get a shitty ass nasty Kirog but I enjoy making this coffee and watching how it turns out so now I let this sit set for three minutes and I have this milk frother I bought for like 20 bucks I put some almond milk in it I'll click the milk fro frother and just turn it on now I let my now I got my filter for my AeroPress. I'm just gonna wet it a little bit over the sink. Good. Now, a lot of people use different sweeteners. I like to just use honey. Honey and cinnamon for my sweeteners. So, this honey's a little bit. So this is just neem organic honey. Put about a teaspoon of that in. And I have cinnamon to top it off with. Now I let this sit for three minutes and I'll show you what's next. So we're at three minutes now. So I'm just gonna turn my O-Press over right on my cup. Now I'm gonna slowly press Slowly press till that straight espresso comes out. And remember, it takes a little bit of time, but try to enjoy this whole process. Just making this fucking beautiful cup of coffee. Okay, after I fully press it out, next I'm going to take my frothed almond milk and pour it in there. Boom. Now, I'm gonna take some organic cinnamon. Put it right on top. Mix that honey up a little bit. And there you go, boys. Fresh cup of honey, I mean fresh AeroPress coffee. A little bit of honey, a little bit of cinnamon. And that's it. Now, I stole all these little morning routines, these little tricks and tips from like top performers, guys like Tim Ferriss or Tony Robbins, super smart people. Since I've been doing it, I feel like I've been so much more creative during the day, so much, such a better attitude, so much better energy. Um, every day I get started, I'm ready to fucking go. Instead of waking up, grabbing my phone and look what everyone else is doing right away. Just concentrate on myself and uh, build myself up. Now I can grab my phone, check my emails, do the shit I gotta do, and then go lift. So that's my morning routine, boys.